I have tried literally so much skincare and this isn't even like a quarter of it. Hey guys, it's Julia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you guys how I got my skin from looking like this to looking like this. I had extremely bad acne specifically on my forehead but I would still get pimples on like the side of my face and like my other facial areas. Acne is one of the most annoying confidence surprising thing like trust me I've had it for so long I know the struggles of trying to get rid of it and it just keep coming back. My skin was so bad people would literally call me connect the dots. It was like a bumpy mountain. Like I couldn't even move my eyebrows without it hurting. A lot of the time, acne can also be caused by your habits. So I'm gonna be going through some things like that in this video too. I'm giving you guys the best tips I learned over my years of having acne. Tip number one is try not to stress about acne or stress in general because although stress cannot directly cause acne, stressing about your acne or in general can make it worse or make it take longer to heal. A lot of the time, acne is also hormonal too. So around your period, it may get worse or while you're going through puberty your acne may get worse so just be patient and maybe your acne will heal on its own and don't stress about it because that's just gonna make your problem 10 times worse than it already is tip number two is drinking lots of water drinking lots of water helps with proper skin hydration without proper skin hydration your skin can actually get dry which leads to excess oil production which can be another factor of why you may be getting some acne Tip number three is actually just be careful about what you're eating because there's a lots of foods out there that contribute to acne. Although changing your diet won't just get rid of your acne, but it'll definitely help it decrease. Specifically for me, greasy foods actually cause a lot of acne around my mouth because the grease got over my mouth clogging up my pores. So that's why I would say just search up a list of what foods may cause acne and see if you've been eating a lot of those foods recently. Tip number four is super important and that's just knowing your skin type. Knowing your skin type is super important because without knowing your skin type, you don't know what products can help you and help you treat your acne. There are three main skin types which are oily, dry, and neutral skin. Oily and dry are pretty Pretty self-explanatory and neutral could be like a mix of the two like some parts might be dry some parts might be oily or like your whole face is just a neutral mix also looking in the mirror and looking at what type of like skin acne you have which could be whiteheads blackheads pores skin irritation scarring everything is treated with different products so if you don't know what you have it's really hard to get the proper products to help you Tip number five is wash your skin and your pillowcases. Washing your skin is also super important because you're cleaning out all the dirt that was building up in your pores, which could be another cause of your acne. That also comes with washing your pillowcase because if your pillowcase is dirty, you're laying your face on your pillowcase every single night when you go to sleep, which all the dirt on your pillowcase is just transferring to your face, which can make your acne and make you break out so easily and so quickly. Tip number six is don't touch your skin and don't pick out your acne. Trust me, I know it's the most tempting thing seeing that little white head be there. You just want to go boop and it be gone. But trust me, you're making your problem 10 times worse. When you pop your pimple, you're squeezing out all the bacteria that caused that pimple in the first place onto other areas of your skin, which can just spread your acne. Although it may have gotten rid of that one pimple, you're transferring bacteria everywhere, which can cause bleeding, scarring, infections, you name it. So just... Don't do it. I know it's hard. Just please don't do it. It'll just make your situation 10 times easier if you just don't. Tip number seven is moisturize your skin and use SPF or otherwise known as sunscreen. Moisturizing your skin is super important because it helps keep your face hydrated and it also helps maintain your skin's healthy cells and protect your skin from irritation. But be careful about what moisturizer you use because there are some moisturizers out there that have oils or synthetic fragrances or just ingredients in there that you do not want to be putting on your face. But I will tell you some great moisturizers at the end when I tell you what products I use. Using sunscreen is super important because it keeps your skin's complexion even and it protects your face from the sun's really, really harmful UV ray lights, which can cause peeling and other really nasty things, including blisters. Tip number eight is actually go to a dermatologist. A dermatologist is pretty much a skin doctor that can treat acne and other skin conditions. If you have super, super bad acne and it's not going away, going to a dermatologist, they can actually give you medicine or skin treatments that you cannot just get over the counter or at Target or whatever. They can also diagnose what's wrong with your face and if it's acne or if it's a more serious skin condition or if it's just another skin condition in general. Personally, I've never gone to a dermatologist, but everybody's skin is different and it may be the right idea for you. Don't go if you just have like one pimple 
or a few pimples or you're having a breakout around your period or whatever the case may be only if it's consistently there and it's extremely bad tip number nine is so unbelievably important stop using tons of makeup and tons of skincare products on your face all the time when i had acne two of the biggest mistakes i made was one putting up tons of makeup on my acne to try and cover it up and once I got home taking it off and just piling tons of skincare on my face. Sometimes more is less when you have acne and you don't want to keep putting treatments or makeup on your face because you're just going to be clogging your face more. It's okay to wear makeup every once in a while, trust me I did, but just try to stay away from the greasy heavy foundations or heavy face products and all of the greasy heavy face washes and body washes because that can also be another trigger of acne. Acne. You may think you're cleaning your face, but you're actually making it worse. Try your best to let your face breathe. <laughs> Tip number 10 is my skincare routine and all the products I use to get my face from super, super, super bad acne to how it is now. So every time I wake up and every time right before I go to sleep, I use this CeraVe face wash and this CeraVe moisturizer. All of CeraVe products are enriched with essential molecules that are found naturally in the skin, which help restore your skin's barrier, giving you plump and super hydrated skin. I have tried so many cleansers and this isn't even me like dick riding this these like cleansers because they're like trending right now but I genuinely have used these for a really long time and they work super super well. They're also really affordable which is why I think they're the best option and they have so many different types. For my moisturizer I use the rough and bumpy skin one which exfoliates and moisturizes and for my face wash I use the renewing SA cleanser which gently cleanses, exfoliates and smooths your skin. And there are so many different moisturizers and cleansers and eye creams or whatever case may be for all different types of skin for oily skin and dry skin neutral skin if you have acne if you have peeling skin if you just have bumps there's endless amounts of choices but another thing that's really helped me recently is the ordinary's niacinamide which is this box but niacinamide minimizes enlarged pores and strengthens the skin's barrier like the CeraVe products and it prevents bacteria from getting in and causing more pimples and acne with this product Product and all the ordinary products definitely do a swatch test first and don't overuse it because they are super strong products and you want to make sure you don't have an allergic reaction before you put it on your face or put it on your face for too long another product I use from the ordinary is the AHA and BHA peeling solution pretty much the peeling solution kind of gets rid of fine lines and your pimples and large pores and it fixes your skin texture which is something I'm currently dealing with a lot even after getting rid of my acne I still have textured skin sometimes and I still get lines every once in a while and if it starts to burn while it's on your face take it off even if you haven't had it on for the recommended time and the last product I use from the ordinary is actually their lactic acid and this isn't really necessarily directed at acne but once I got rid of my acne my skin still tended to be textured and would have like dark spots on it so this kind of helps brighten the dark spots and helps with the texture and helps make your face smoother so the last thing that I used a lot when I had super bad acne was actually like tea tree oil and tea tree oil products they sell them at a lot of places but sometimes it irritates super sensitive skin but I have sensitive skin and it tended to like not irritate me that bad so just be careful with tea tree oil I tended to get mine from the body shop or just regular tea tree oils so this is a tea tree oil I use it's literally just an essential oil and I would just put it on a cotton pad sometimes and rub it over my acne I also had tons of different like tea tree products from the body shop they also have a body wash which I actually still use the body wash I still have some acne some places on my face but using the tips I gave you and using the products I just gave you my skin has gotten tremendously better and it's definitely the best my skin has ever been but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like share and subscribe and comment down below if you have any other tips or advice or any other products that work for you for anybody watching this video but thank you so much for watching love you guys peace out